Hi, welcome to my channel. This is the cabinet that we did a couple of days ago. A basic base cabinet. Now we would like to make some change and update this one and save it as a new base cabinet for our collection of uh, kitchen cabinets. And what we would like to do is to add a drawer to the upper side, which is very common. And so it's very good if we have this on our library of cabinets. So I'm going to walk you through the change that we need to do to, to have this new cabinet with a drawer, starting from the first design. So the first thing we are going to do is to find the other cabinet where we are starting from. And it's the, the other one is just the base sink BS cabinet. So I'm opening this and I'm going to save it as a new cabinet. I'm checking over here if I have the parameters because this is a parametric cabinet. These are all the measurements uh, for this cabinet. They're here. So I wanted to keep this to start with the new one. Now I'm going to save this one as a new cabinet. I'm going to call it BAs. Going to call it BAs2 cabinet, base sink 2 cabinet. And I see that I I have saving as a new cabinet. I have all the same parameters parameters to start working with them. I know I'm going to have to add some because I'm adding some things to this cabinet. So let me hide the doors and let's start uh, updating the left side panel sketch. So I'm looking over here for some parameters that I know I'm going to need. I'm looking to see if I have them already. If I don't have them, I will just create them. So let's create this one. It's going to be drawer division width. And we're going to put five inches. Click OK. And let's add another one. Uh, let me call it uh, let me call it B S drawer height. I'm seven inches high. Click OK. Okay, let's get out of here. Click OK. Now let's start with a new rectangle. So I'm constraining over here on the left side. Um, I'm going to use the parameters for the width of this profile and the thickness, which is a cabinet material thickness. Um, for the position of this, I'm going to put a dimension over here which is going to be the opening of the upper drawer. That is another parameter that we just created. Okay, now we just uh, select this uh, profile that we did. So we are going to extrude, extrude this uh, to make the new drawer division. I'm going to set over here a profile offset because I'm offsetting this uh, this division after the left panel. So the division is going to start when the after the left panel thickness. So that's why I'm putting over here now the, the distance, which is going to be the width of the cabinet less the cabinet material by two times. Left side 
panel and right side panel. So I will discount this from the width, the total width of the cabinet. And now I have the new drawer division. I'm gonna name it. I'm, I create it as a, as a new component, and I'm just naming naming this one drawer division. So now we have the the case with the drawer division that we need. Now we just need to update the sketch for the doors that we had before because we just have two doors in it uh, before. Now we're gonna add the drawer division. So let's see how we do that, how we do that editing this sketch. So we are seeing the sketch dimensions over here as I already I already uh, click edit sketch. So as you can see, I don't have any typing dimensions over here. All all these are with the parameters. So I'm gonna put over here. I'm gonna update the upper reveal, which is actual actually right now it is the the cabinet material thickness because I don't want to get close to the to the cabinet top, the countertop. So I'm gonna add to this the drawer height that we are adding. I'm, I'm going to add to the to this dimension the reveal. So I'm, gonna, I'm adding two, two parameters to this uh, dimension over here. So I have my doors are going to be shorter now. Now I'm I'm going to create another rectangle. I don't have a I don't want to have this constraint anywhere. So I'm trying not to have a constraint. Um, that's okay. And now it's good time to have to use this collinear constraint to have the sides same one as the one in the bottom. Left side. Now we do the same one with the right side. Um, right now we just have to add two dimensions: the reveal, the upper reveal which is going to be the same uh, cabinet material material that we have before. And between the, the drawer front and the bottom doors, we're going to add a regular reveal over here, which is uh, set to one-eighth of an inch. So that's it. That, that's, we have all the profiles we need over here. So now we are ready to extrude. We're going to use the extrude command to create this uh, as a new component, the front drawer. Um, we're going to offset this. I like to use uh, a little distance between the, the cabinet case and the door or the, or, or the drawer front. So I already have a, a parameter for that. I'm gonna name this uh, upper drawer, or just drawer, it's just one, uh, drawer front. Now the doors, as you can see, I don't have to screw them because they became updated when we updated the, the, the profile that was used to create, to create them. As you can see, I, I'm just shaking over here, but I'm, I'm not gonna hit, I'm not gonna, I'm not changing anything, so they got to be updated. That's the, that's the little gap that I was talking to you about it, because that on the real world you don't have the the doors or the drawer fronts completely tied to the cabinet case. That's why I like to to add this offset when I'm creating this. So I'm I'm just save this uh, file right now. So now you have a new cabinet in your library because we save it as a new cabinet and that way you accumulate cabinets to be reused because they are parametric so you just change the, the width, change the, the depth, the height, things like that. Actually you can update anything you want but the good thing is you can reuse them.
to make different jobs. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the new channel. Thanks a lot.